risk is something called color crosstalk, otherwise known as color blooming. Color blooming causes unwanted color artifacts, making the color less accurate. The second risk is the potential for reduced color saturation with real-world mixed color images. This problem can cause inconsistent color quality. All right, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. My name is Max. In today's video, we're going to be talking about TCL, CES, the disappointment of RGB mini LED TV technology. Well, maybe the disappointment and the upcoming TVs that is coming out this year that's going to be using the RGB mini LED technology and TCL the X11L technology, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. But if you could do me a favor first by hitting that like and subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Well, let's go ahead and talk about TCL presentation. I just had a chance to take a look at that. Actually, I took a look at it before. I had to digest it, think about it a little bit more, because if you've seen my previous videos before, I was really hyped for RGB mini LED technology, looking at a lot of the pitfalls that they've been talking about. We just gonna have to wait and see. Cause looking at LG, Samsung, TCL, and Hisense, RGB mini LED TVs that's coming out this year. I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait. But with Sony on the other hand, Maybe Sony already anticipates some of those issues and may have something up in stores once they announce their TVs. So it's, it's going to be an interesting year. I do want to go ahead and talk about TCL X11L TV. They just announced it. And I believe that it's already available for, for pre-order. And looking at the pricing for that technology, to be honest with you, I think that's a little high for TCL. Looking at the 85 inch and the 98 inch, the 98 inch is going for $10,000. Damn! And then the 85 inch is going for $8,000. Oh my God! I don't know. I don't know. Even Sony didn't even go up that high with their 85 inch. TV. So I'm talking about the mini LED TV. So. This is this is going to be pretty bold for TCL, especially where it's still considered as a mini LED TV, but they call it an SQD mini LED TV. So maybe the hype is real, according to a lot of you know content creators that looked at the TV already. But. I don't know. I think that price is a little steep in my opinion. I think if it was a little bit more competitive, like the 85 inches around $5,000 and maybe the 98 inch was around 6000 I think that would have been a little bit better pricing, but it is the beginning of the year and the TV just came out and you know TCL is very aggressive when it comes to, comes to their pricing. So that might change. But looking at this, especially for SQD mini LED TVs, especially going with kind of like the similar technology with mini LED TV, just going to have to wait and see. And I have reviewed TCL TVs before in the past. And don't get me wrong, they're very, very nice TVs. But one of the biggest drawbacks, and I said this before, and multiple videos the black levels are really really nice and inky but the biggest drawbacks is when it comes to shadow detail and a lot of black crush depending on the movie content that you're looking at and i could go ahead and show you some examples of some of the tcl tvs that i reviewed in the past if you look at especially like monster hunter if i show you some troubling scenes they have a lot of issues when it comes to darker content and it comes to 
movies like that or anything when it comes to Game of Thrones. That's where TCL really struggles at. And if you're comparing it against a Sony TV, Samsung does an okay job, but Sony does one of the better jobs when it comes to their shadow detail, and they don't have a problem sacrificing when it comes to the blooming area if they're going to represent the picture in the, in the right way. So those are kind of like the things you want to think about when it comes to sacrificing, but looking at the price of the X11L, it better it better deliver when it comes to the price and it comes to the performance wise. It better be ultimate, ultimate in all those categories. But it's just like me just looking at it from the outside and not seeing this TV in person. I, the price is a little steep, but as in performance wise, it might be a really really good TV. And when they was talking about the RGB mini LED TV technology and some of the downfalls of it, especially this year, those are one of my concerns as well, too, is the lack of dimming zones compared to the other competitors, you know, other technology, mini LED TV or TCL SQD mini LED technology, and especially when they're going against OLED, because you know OLED, when it comes to the bread and butter of 55 to all the way to 77 inch, OLED is still going to be going to take the crown when it comes to picture performance. And that's something that's going to be undistributed. And there's no debate when it comes to that. But when you get into bigger size screen TVs, like person is looking for 85, 98 inch, those are kind of like the questions that come into the discussion as in when it comes to pricing wise, that's where many LED TVs kind of shine. Well, really will start to shine, especially when it comes to the pricing perspective. And when it comes to OLED, when you get to the 83 inch realm, that's where the prices get a little bit crazy. And then you got LG technology is using when it comes to the panels is going to be the older model panels. And those are kind of like the things that I really struggle with as in if I'm going to be paying for a premium price, I'm not going to be getting the same performance as their 55 to 77 inch when it comes to the G series. And if you're looking at the C6, on the other hand, the 77 to 83, uh, 83 inch, those are kind of like the questions that I always ask myself as in like, how 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 on the G6 is you getting a lower grade panel model on an 83 inch version and you charging such a premium? So those are kind of like the things I kind of like think about. Going back to them RGB mini LED technology and the rest when it comes to color crosstalk, I am concerned about that. I'm going to have to wait and see until I see that in person, especially when it comes to those challenging scenes. And seeing that how it's going to perform, especially when it comes to certain content. And then also, too, when it comes to playing games, I know that will become an issue as well, too. And going back to the color crosstalk is another way of saying blooming or color blooming. So I do have some concerns about that, especially when RGB mini LED technology is still new. And so I think the manufacturers, or I want to say I think more than likely the manufacturers that be coming out with the RGB mini LED TVs are going to come out with a lot, a lot less local dimming zones compared to the mini LED TVs. So those are kind of like one of the things I'm really, really concerned about in that category, in that area. And another issue that TCL was talking about is the mixed color issue when it comes to real world content. And one of the things that they was going over as an example, they was looking at a parrot and especially when it was looking at the head and it got different variety of colors, RGB mini LED TV may struggle in that department. TCL has been talking about that. Samsung haven't talked about it, but LG displays has been taking jabs up about the whole technology as well too. Well, one thing I am thinking about is I wonder what Sony is going to do because Sony is known for doing less zones, but when it comes to processor, I don't know. They are king when it comes to that. So they may have something in store that may 
help in that area when it comes to less risk. But just have to wait and see. I mean, but other than that, I do want to go ahead and end this video. Let me know in the comments, are you thinking about still picking up the RGB Mini LED TV, even though that TCL talk about the pitfalls and risk? And even you have some creators as well has been talking about some of the blooming, especially when it comes to Linus Tech with the Hisense TV of the UX that came out last year. Or are you just going to go ahead and get an OLED and go the LG route or even the QD OLED Samsung route? Or you think about picking the, the SQD technology from TCL and go ahead and coughing up to $10,000 for a 98 inch or even $8,000 for an 85 inch? Let me know in the comments. But if you could do me a favor first by hitting that like and subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. Other than that, I'll see everyone in the next video. Take care. Bye.